second because as you guys know I think motivation is awesome but consistency will take you places that motivation cannot. So that's one of the main focuses I love about the Talks with Taylor Hendricks podcast and on my YouTube channel where I actually do Motivation Mondays. I want to carry you guys in the right direction through the week because it's so easy to get boggled down with negativity and societal expectations and com negative comparisons and toxic positivity and boom, 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 boom. It's like the heat in a wrestling match. It's like boom, boom, boom. It like it just weighs you down, boggles you down until you end up with so much baggage that you didn't even know you had and then you wonder why there's no room for happiness in your present it's because you're still carrying all that baggage from your past like who has the time for that honestly and who is tired who is tired of lugging around all that baggage and that's what brings me to today FOMO F-O-M-O -O, fear of missing out this is a huge issue. We've brought this up in prior episodes of Motivation Monday and on this podcast, but I want to bring this up again because it's so easy to forget. And because it's so easy to forget, we often fall back on it as a crutch and then we don't understand why we're so unhappy. Okay. FOMO, fear of missing out. Take stock of your life for a second for me. Okay. And then ask yourself, if you, if you have this fear of missing out, Ask yourself, what is it I'm afraid I'm missing out on? Who am I comparing myself with to make me think that I am somehow less than and I am somehow missing out on something? And is it something that you really are missing or is it something that you, you should be thankful you're avoiding? Okay, a lot of times uh, there's this quote that I have loved for many, many, many years, ever since I was a child. I think it's because I wanted to escape home so badly, but I always really identified to this quote. Um, I think it's by Thomas Wolfe, I think. Um, so many shots to my head, I can't even remember. But basically, it says you can't go home again. What I think that, that he meant by that is when you leave home for the first time and you go out into the world, you are never going to go home again the same person that you were when you left, hence can't go home again. And so for me, I think when I hear people saying that they're afraid of missing out on this, that or the other or certain experiences or whatever, I think a lot of times they're looking back at other people that they've known throughout their lives and see what those people are doing. And then they start comparing and contrasting their own lives and what they're doing. Um, and that is just a recipe for disaster. You should not be comparing your life to anybody else's. You shouldn't even have the time to be doing that. You should be so focused on your own life and where you want to go. Okay, what, it, by society standards, what are you actually missing out on? Let's be real. What are you missing out on? Going to the bars every weekend? Doing the same shit that you were doing in high school, even though you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s? Uh, spending all your money so you can do TikTok videos of Amazon gadgets? And blah, blah, blah. Like, I, or are you one of those people that, you know, thinks, oh, my wardrobe isn't cool enough because I don't have enough designer labels because I see everybody posting photos on Instagram with designer this, designer that, new this, that, and the other every single week or, or flashing money on social media and all this other stuff or going on vacations every other week? Are you really missing out or are those people putting on a facade because social media is fake and promotes narcissistic behavior? What, like, be realistic. What are you actually missing out on? Okay, getting drunk every single weekend just puts you in an earlier grave. It literally is horrible for your body and it, it's, it's terrible for your wallet. Okay, do you really need all of those Amazon gadgets and to keep up with the latest social media fast trends that go in and out in like the same day? That's how you stay broke. Okay. And can these people really honestly afford all of those vacations or, or, or are they just putting themselves into bigger and bigger and bigger financial debt to impress people that don't even care about them in the first place? What are you truly missing out on? Okay. A lot of times when you think you're missing out on something, you're just comparing somebody else's lifestyle to yours instead of understanding the value in the grass is green or where you water it. If you're always focused on other people's lives and the fear of missing out, you're not watering your own grass, which a feed grows and which you starve dies. A lot of times it's fake. You know, there, you know, a lot of these people that you're comparing your own life to, their grass isn't greener. They're just spraying it with green dye, okay? <laughs> to hide the fact that it's dying or dead or gone, okay? If you put lipstick on a pig, still a pig wearing lipstick. You're not missing out. You are not missing out. Anything worth achieving and worth gaining and manifesting 
isn't easy. Anything that's easily gained is easily lost. That's why you can't buy integrity in a store. And that's why your moral compass should always be your guide. Not society, not, what, not what's currently popular and trending. You. Inside of you. Okay. If you, if you think you're, you've been focused too long on your career and you want to start a family, well, then you have to put yourself in a position where you find the right person to start a family. Okay. If you think that, you know, you're, you're missing out on buying all kinds of stuff. Like, why do you need all that stuff? Like, do you want to be broke or do you want to have a closet full of clothes that were cool in the moment, but you're never really going to wear because you chose quantity over quality? What are you truly missing out on? We're in one of the wealthiest societies that has the most opportunities throughout the history of our country in, in Western civilization, period. But we're the most depressed and, and, and financially strapped and going nuts. Why? What are you missing out on? Are you watering your own grass or are you too busy looking at somebody else's artificial dyed green grass? What you feed grows and what you starve dies. So what are you actually missing out on? What are you missing out on? Do you want to be around people that peaked in high school? Or do you want to be around people that are in a better position than you whose lives actually reflect what you truly want? Not what society tries to tell you that you want so they can control you like little marionette puppets attached to strings. What is it that you truly want? Not what society says, not what your parents say, not what your next door neighbor has, not what the person, the people you follow on Instagram have. A lot of those relationships implode for a reason because it's fake. When you, when you are truly successful and happy and healthy with yourself on the inside, you glow different. You hit different. It's different because your validation is coming from inside of yourself and not from all of these, these random people on social media who don't actually give a crap about you and are probably comparing their lives to yours, wishing they had what you had, but you're too busy wishing you had what somebody else has. Okay. The world is not fair, but that doesn't mean that you can make it fair for you. You know, don't underestimate the value of working hard, but also work smarter. Okay. That's what advert people are so afraid these days of adversity. So they want everything to be fair, but you can't confuse fair with um, equity of outcome. Okay, it's different. If you work super hard and did everything the right way and somebody else did everything the wrong way, do they deserve the same things as you? Do you want their life? What are you truly missing out on? What are you afraid of missing out on? A lot of the things that are going to give you the best future in life are things that are not easily gained, but everyone wants to act like they have it. And that's the thing. Everybody wants to act like they're a 10 and act like, you know, they're a beast. But then when it comes time to do high value shiz it, 10 shiz it, being a beast, they don't want to do that. Why is that? Because it's hard. It's not easy. We live in an instant gratification society. And that's why it's so valuable to understand that consistency will take you places that motivation cannot. So are you consistently ignoring your own grass because you're consistently comparing your life to other people? Or are you consistently watering your own grass so that your grass is greener than anybody else that you could possibly compare it to? So much is a facade. And once you get a peek behind that curtain, you'll realize that all your comparisons were for naught because that person would easily, in a hot minute, switch places with you. Water your own grass, focus on your own life, focus on fixing your own internalized traumas, your own struggles, your own shortcomings, so that you can be the best possible person, the best possible adult version of you, so that you can honor the little kid that you used to be. Don't be, don't, don't have a fear of missing out on what everyone else is experiencing because maybe what everybody else is experiencing is not good. The only thing you should be afraid of is not being the best possible version of yourself and not honoring the little child that you used to be. Because I can all but guarantee today's modern society would be so much better if people stopped pointing the finger at everybody else and started turning the finger inward on themselves, working on themselves, and then projecting that goodness, that happiness, that healthiness, that success outward to everybody else. Focus on themselves instead of everyone else. It is so much easier to tear somebody down to your lower level than it is to build yourself up to a higher level. A lot of people don't want to put in that work, and that's why they line up for what we talked about in a previous week, the reassuring lie. People don't want to put in that work that is required of standing in the inconvenient truth line. 
So that's why there are so many people lining up for the reassuring lie. And so that brings me to this final question that I've been asking this whole time for motivation. FOMO, fear of missing out. What are you, what do you think you are truly missing out on? What do you think you're truly missing out on? Is it real or is it just in your head? You got to learn to tell your, your head what's real and not your head tell you what's real. Okay. Your head doesn't know, but your heart does. Are you watering your own grass? What are you afraid of missing out on? And what are you doing for your life to be so much better for you and for the little kid you used to be and the little kids you might have right now or in the future? Those are much more important questions than, well, I wonder what so-and-so is doing today. So what are you truly missing out on? Or is it just some emotion that is that is, is, is artificially created to hold you back from all of the potential that you possess. Ask yourself that question and be honest and find out. You'd be surprised what the answer may be. All right, everyone, this has been the latest episode of the Talks with Taylor Hendricks podcast with yours truly. Do not forget to head on over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Taylor Hendricks for more Motivation Mondays, uh, Q&A Wednesdays, Fun Fact Fridays, and so much more. And I will see you guys live uh, with the Brand Live with Vincent Taylor this Friday at 1 p.m. EST. Until next time, everybody. Talk soon.